Hey, 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 you are here on School Night. My name is Novena Carmel, and we are celebrating a very special edition, the Pride edition of School Night in collaboration with Gay Astrology. And we're here with Tolliver, who just set the stage on fire. Ooh. Tolliver, how do you Ooh. feel? I feel amazing. <laughs> You've you got hearts in your eyes. I've got hearts in my eyes. i got sweat in my chest. <laughs> this is so exciting. Gay astrology, I've gone to those parties a million times. Yeah. I'm always the tallest person there. Yeah. <laughs> I always have a really good time. And, of course, performing at school night is a huge honor. Yeah, I mean, you know, you've been here at school night in various capacities. You've watched as a fan at home, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. You've hosted. You've performed on the school night stage. Yes. What would you say is your favorite role? <sighs> Um, okay, this is because I literally did just perform, but I do love hosting with you. Yeah, I it know. is so much fun, it and, you is. know, and it's like it's nice and breezy. And they send you um, food from Tender Greens or Mendocino Farms. Or Mendocino Ooh, Farms. Shout so I can't, you know, if we're getting, we're getting <laughs> free food. I can't. <laughs> that's got to be the top, you know. Oh, I do want to mention before we get in real deep, we're doing another giveaway with Tolliver's set list from tonight. The one that he performed the songs of, these little lovebirds over here. Mm -hmm. And he's going to sign it and then also um, personalize it. So put in the chat, exclamation point ticket, if you want to have your opportunity to win the set list from tonight. Could be worth this a lot is of the money. Set list. It's got it's his right sweat here. on it. And uh, it's got sweat equity, as they say. Shout out to Shirtless in Wisconsin, <laughs> hole in his pants. Hole in his pants, yeah. Uh, yeah. Shirtless in Wisconsin already won a set list. So, um, oh, okay. Hearts in his eyes, hole in his pants. Yes, that's why he said he felt the breeze on his thighs. Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful wardrobe malfunction, mm -hmm. as they say. But you're really, you know, putting the fun in function with Tolliver. Oh, thank you right? so much. Yeah. Thanks. Shout out to Indwana. Function. Uh, right? The Indwana clothing oh across the street. Okay, so we have another person here. Yes. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, my name is A.A. A. Ron. What's up, y'all? A. A. I see Ron. you in the chat, nerds. Ooh. Nerds out there. <laughs> We're all nerds here. We're a all nerds a, a Ron here. is our masterful guitarist. Up here ripping it. I'm like, okay. But this absolute king right here, look at him with his double shades. Look at me. With my That's dad. how you this know. 40-40 vision right here. I feel good about it. And since it is gay astrology, we got to ask, what are your zodiac signs? Uh, Pisces. Pisces. Pisces, Ooh, Pisces, Pisces. Another Pisces. Pisces. Yeah, yeah. Diamond was Diamond's a Pisces. Pisces. Oh, I yes. could tell. I yeah. can tell Diamond's a Pisces. Yeah, yeah. The feel ah! But you're a very, like, gregarious Pisces, I feel like. I am, yeah. You know? I'm very much so an extrovert, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, that's kind of unusual. Mm. Do you know anything else about your chart? I don't, but I do know that I cry a lot. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Because that's, like, the Pisces thing. In touch with your emotions. In touch with my emotions. Yeah. Sabi, Sabi, Sabi McGee over here. That's good. I feel like you're, like, a um, well-adjusted Pisces. Yeah. You know what yeah. I do? What do you do? I watch videos of, like, um, people coming home from war and their dogs greeting them. Oh. And I just cry. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a, a lovely romantic evening for me. I get it, though. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing. I yeah. mean, dogs are just amazing creatures. And what is your sign, A.A. Ron? I'm one of them Tauruses. Tauruses? One of them cool. sad Tauruses. A sad Taurus. Oh, you know, dog. Dang. <laughs> I eat a lot of food. I cry a lot. Yeah. I watch a lot of TV. Okay. And then occasionally I play guitar and I pretend like it, you know, placates my sadness. Dang. Until okay. the next time. Is there, is there a song <laughs> that you can play on guitar that's going to, like, bring you joy? Fuck no. Oh, I mean, shit, come no. Come on. There's I mean, kids damn here, no. Aaron. Hell no. no. It's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, oh nerds on the Shout internet. Shout out to Ohana Kitty. <laughs> Shout outs to curse words. <laughs> so, Tolliver, let's go back to baby Tolliver mm -hmm. days when Many you were five and a half feet at mm -hmm. five years old. No, I'm just making this up. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so um, I came out the womb, yeah. Back in came out the womb tall. <laughs> in Chicago is where you're from, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Absolutely. And um, we hear that you are from a cowboy obsessed pastor mm -hmm. and a gospel choir singer. That's what does fact. that mean? Well, yeah, my dad used to listen to US 99 in Chicago all the time. What's that? Travis Shout Tripp, outs. Garth Brooks, oh. and like all these other country heroes. He loved that stuff. Shout out to old white country guys. And it was weird because, you know, I'm black, as was he. And so, <laughs> you don't say. And so, you know, him being in the country was a kind of a, a, a strange thing a little bit. Especially but in Chicago. Especially in Chicago. Because, I mean, the real cowboys are black, the right. original cowboys. Yes. That part. Yes, 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 yes. 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 You're right. That's a good point. Yeah. But, you know, I don't know if he knew all that. I'm just saying he was, <laughs> he was listening to Travis Tritt. At Tritt. the time, it was different. But my mom was the, like, lead singer in the church. So okay. she was like, you know, he would give her all the solos, blah, 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 blah. So it was a whole lineage of that. Yeah. And then they had me play piano in the church, but I didn't know what I was doing. So I was yeah. just slamming random notes on the piano. <laughs> They'd be like, go ahead, baby. Go ahead, baby. That's nice. They were supportive of you. Because, I mean, in church, it can go in the other direction where they just tell you, like, oh, God didn't bless those hands. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that, that did happen to me. I, I was, when did. I sang as a teenager, my brother was like, you're not good at this and you should quit. At singing? 
Yeah. What? Look That's at crazy. Him. Or look at me now, rather. Look I'm at on me now. school night. Is your brother yeah. watching, you think? <laughs> no, he's not watching. He's okay. in bed already. He's in bed already. You What's know? your brother's name? James. James. Well, James Tolliver. Look at, look at, look at Tolliver Tolliver now. <laughs> look at him now. I will um, say shout out to because we're talking about pride. Yeah. Shout out to my brother. He was the first person I came out to in my family. And he was like, why didn't you tell me earlier? It was a very sweet Oh, wow. Moment. Shout yeah. out, supportive so, coming out moment. Yes. yes. So did, did he make you feel like more empowered to do that as well? Yeah, absolutely. He was very, very supportive. And he's like a military guy, so I was nervous about it. Oh, wow. And like, like Is a, he older than you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So at what point did you realize that you could, in fact, sing? Because, I mean, I remember the first time I saw you sing, and I was like, this dude has a special voice. Oh, thank you. It was was that at that, uh, the little acoustic performance series that they have? It was at some weird you were with Valida, bootleg, maybe? and you were the shining star of the whole situation. No, it was before Always. that. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, it was in high school. I was in a musical called Once on This Island. I was the god of water, Agwe. Well, that makes sense. And so they Pisces. Gave, to Pisces? Yeah. So they gave me a little solo, and the teacher was like, I think you got a little something, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and so I, just, I stuck with it. Do you and, remember you know. the solo? Uh, I sure do. Do you want to share a little Let bit with us? Let there be no moon. Let the clouds race by where the road meets the sea. Let the tide be high. Something like that. Yes. <laughs> Anybody else know the musical? <laughs> As Lauren Bethke said, she's a star. A shout yes, out to Lauren Bethke. Shout out to Lauren. <laughs> Um, and as a reminder, we, you still have the opportunity to possibly win the set list. Just put exclamation point ticket in the chat. And Jake Bauman said, sing Garth Brooks. <laughs> is, is Garth Brooks, I got friends in low places? No. I don't know. Garth I Brooks, got I friends in low places with a whiskey eater. And the old way Oh, my God. Yet another person. There. Low, low places like this? You know the song, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I got Jail, friends you in know low places. Song. I got friends in hella low places. Sing the Garth Brooks song, Jail. Uh, I, I, <laughs> low, low, low. <laughs> low, low, low. That's when you Jail. <laughs> Shout out Jail to our school night family. Oh, we got three school night hosts. On screen right now. Oh, can Isn't you handle crazy? it? It's cool and delicious. Are you can ready? You Too much hostess. <laughs> this is crazy. For your screen. Jo, what's your really sign? Really Too much so host power. I don't yeah. know which side. This Jo, side consolidate. Let right. us Voltron cool. together into right. a conglomerate <laughs> host. Since you're here, you have to tell us your sign, especially on gay astrology. I yeah. am an Aqu Aquarius. Aquarius. Oh, that's right. We're both Aquarius. Yeah. 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 Aquarii. Aquarii. January uh, 28th, J. Cole's birthday. Don't. That's my mama birthday. Oh, really? Look at that. My mama's is three days before mine. Oh, amazing. Yeah. That's my pin number I as well. I just realized you're wearing two glasses. <laughs> <laughs> you said that's your pin number. How Dang. We? Yo, get his card. Um, <laughs> get that bag. Uh, you're wearing two glasses right now. So I am. That's yeah, a, yeah. That's one I for the vision, one for the style. And that's that's good. That's smart. That's so smart. aside from the glasses, I do still want to talk more about the music because yes. you have your album. Well, for, okay. You had the Daddyland EP come out and then the deluxe album. Yes, 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 yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. Um, Bop after bop on both versions. Thank you. And what I mean, Daddy Land. Who's Daddy? Like, who are we talking about when we call it Daddy Land? Yeah. So like, it was about because my brother, my brother called me to tell me a bunch of secrets about my dad. <gasps> oh my God, mm. a scandalo. He called you one day. He called me one like, day. I got to tell you. Something. And I always thought I was the wildest person in the family. And so after that, I was like, oh, I kind of relate to my dad, you know, from the past. You know? Are there any of the stories that you want to share, or like a little bit, like to give us like an idea of like what genre of story we're oh, talking about? I'll give you. The big one. Okay. So my dad was much older than my mom, and he used to date my grandmother, and he left her for my mother. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's that Chinatown right there. So, <laughs> wow. Oh shit, dog. So that nice. was uh, interesting. Anyway, that's so powerful. I decided to write an album about uh, him and our connection, and me feeling sort of um, more open to, I guess, our astral plane connection. You know yeah. What I'm so, because I've always been afraid he'd be like, "Oh, he's crazy, Tolliver." So My son's a wild ass, you know. Yeah, and so like. Your dad's your grandfather. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> yeah. No, because it's like that math emoji. His dad, with the lady. Is not, <laughs> his dad is not his mom's dad. Yeah. He just dated his grandmother. Yeah, they before didn't he conceive. Got with his mom. That's. Yeah. Okay. You, you can go over there and go think about yeah, it. This <laughs> is interesting. <laughs> so so. Twist in the story. Um, so, I mean, your father passed away when you were quite young. Yes. But you still kind of, his, it sounds like his presence still lingers with you, mm -hmm. considering um, everything that you make. You're, you're wondering what daddy would think? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, he was, like, very much so like a cowboy. He was just, he had always had a cigarette dangling out of his mouth. Yeah. Drove a Lincoln Grand Marquis, that big old boat car, you know? 
And uh, he was just a real tough guy, tough guy, tough guy. So I feel like I'm one of them John Wayne types. One of them John Wayne types. Yeah, we watched a lot of John Wayne movies. And so I feel like I'm doing what he did, but gay. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. Like, I'm trying to be like I'm trying to be like the mm -mm, like the sassier version of that. And you are killing it. And, and everyone says I'm so masculine, you know. That's what people say. Well, you know, me. there's the we can all be anyway. There's Gender no is a spectrum, be. people. You're right. You're a spectrum. Right. Don't Absolutely. you nerds get caught up on labels now? You know what the I mean? Genres, you. labels, boxes, they're all out the window. Um, so I understand that you do have some shows coming up as well, right? Yeah. So we're going on tour in like two days. So cool. we're going to play. Where are you heading? We're going to go to Arizona, play Tucson, Phoenix, come up to San Diego, San Francisco. Tucson, Phoenix, San Diego, San Francisco. Are Fuck you in any of these places? Bah, bah, Portland, bah, Seattle, bah, Vancouver. Bah. You can check out Tolliver live for yourself if you're in any of these cities. Mm -hmm. Google you Tolliver sure tour. We now. got some hot new merch that you've never seen before. Tickets are selling. Where can people find um, like the actual dates of your live shows? If you go to Tolliver.com, and that's the E is a three, so Tolliver3R.com. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. But <laughs> if you go there, you'll find my tour dates. You can buy tickets. Some of them are selling pretty hot, so get in there, you know? Get into it. We know that Tucson is almost sold out. Tucson's so almost buy your sold tickets out. Tickets now. You don't want to miss the show. You don't want to miss it in Tucson. Get up in there. Yeah, Tucson and Phoenix. Get up in there, nerds. So what I do want to say is that we have a winner for the set list. Uh, Edwin Rohel, congratulations. Ooh. You are going to get – I think you should, like, put it on – yeah, give, give me one a more little, little sweat bit. bath. Yeah. I love you, Edwin. I just want you to know that this is personal sweat from the stage. Sweat equity. Well, I really came through.